Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. My name is Adam and welcome back to our Sunday cooking videos. You know, today we're making a recipe that is super easy, super simple, super delicious. Now we have not made this since we have been keto, but this is one of our favorite recipes from our pre-keto life. Today, we are making stuffed peppers. <music> One of the things that we love about stuffed peppers is just how easy they are and just how delicious they are. Uh, I also love that you can use kind of whatever you have on hand. There's so many different ways to make these. You can make taco flavored stuffed peppers or fajita flavored stuffed peppers or just like a whole assortment of them. But the one that we're making tonight is the one that we normally make. And there's actually only one substitution that we have to make uh, from the way that we normally do. So that's super awesome, super easy. And we actually have almost everything on hand, in fact, as normal. Normal, there's only one thing that I need. The problem is that the one thing that I don't have are the peppers. <laughs> that feels like a pretty important thing when the recipe you're making is stuffed peppers. So let's put our coat on because it's cold today here in Alaska and let's go to the store. I just got in the Jeep and I wanna show you guys, it's like 20 degrees outside and I just got my Crocs on with no socks. If Sherry was going with me, I would be getting yelled at <laughs> for sure. Okay, here are the peppers. And I'm probably gonna get four of them, or maybe three of them. And I want kind of a flat bottom so they sit in there perfect. Kind of like this one. Perfect, all ready to go home. Done, and I only got what I came here for. All right, friends, we are back home, and I got everything that I need. Now, there's not a ton of, um, there's not a ton of ingredients for this, but let me show you what I'm using today. So for this one, obviously, we have the green peppers. I actually have some of this Wagyu ground beef I'm gonna use. We're gonna chop up some onions. I've got some riced cauliflower. And this is the thing that is different that I'm using to make it uh, to make it keto. On the recipe, we would normally use rice, kind of as a filler in there, but we're gonna use the cauliflower rice. And then I've got a little bit of marinara sauce. And then as far as seasonings go, I've got garlic powder, garlic salt, and onion powder. All of this is going to, <gasps> I did forget something, hold on. I cannot believe I almost forgot cheese. The first thing we're gonna do is actually get the ground beef going in our cast iron pan, and then I'm gonna dice up some onions to add to that. I got this Wagyu ground beef, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe a week ago or so. No, I guess it probably would've been longer than that, maybe a couple weeks ago. It was on sale at the store. I don't know what the normal price is, but it was $5 a pound. And I was like, wait, what? Obviously it's more expensive than normal ground beef, but it's Wagyu, how could I not? And so I've already used a couple of them. You can see I bought a few more. I think I bought five or six pounds of it because obviously we are super bougie. All right, just kind of broke that up a little bit and now I'm gonna cut up some onion. And this is going to go in with the ground beef. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our cauliflower rice going in the microwave to get it cooked. This says uh, six to seven minutes, and then let's stand for one minute. So there is that. Now let's go six minutes, good to go. Now we're gonna start preparing our peppers. And so to do stuffed peppers, it's actually really simple. We're just gonna cut the top off here. And then you can see there's the inside with the seeds. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of cut along those veins because we're just trying to create a hollowed out interior. And then you're just gonna reach in and pull that out. Look at that. Perfect. All right, let's see. Yep, I think that is nice and done. Now you can see that there is some fat in there and we actually don't really want a lot of that for the stuffing of the peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this off. That looks a lot better. You can see there's still a little bit of fat in there, but that's okay, because remember, we're gonna add some cauliflower rice to this which is the thing we're gonna do next. And I'm gonna go ahead and add probably about one cup. There we go, that looks pretty good. And this really is just kind of a thickener in there. I'd say when you're using this, uh, whether it's rice or whether it's cauliflower rice or whatever you're using, remember you kind of want like a good ratio of that to meat. You don't want too much of it so that the meat feels like it gets lost in there. So I think that looks perfect. And then the last thing we're gonna add is a little bit of marinara sauce. Now, another tip when adding marinara sauce to stuffed peppers, remember, you are not trying to create soup. So you wanna add a little bit of a time, a little bit at a time until you get a consistency where everything is coated in the sauce, but everything is not drowned in the sauce. 
right? We don't want this to be runny. We don't want this to be soupy. We still want this to be like really thick and hearty, but we want the sauce to cover everything. So I'm gonna add about that much and give this a stir. I'm probably gonna add up ending, I'm gonna end up adding a little bit more. Yeah, I can already tell that I'm going to. Because really, like, this is the consistency we want. Something like that. The problem is that we don't have enough yet in there. So let's add, let's add a little bit more to this side. And keep in mind with stuffed pepper recipes is that you can add anything you want to them. Like, get creative. What do you have left over in your fridge? Uh, that is what you can put in here. The pepper is basically just like a vessel to keep food held together. So what you put inside it is completely up to you. And I think that is exactly what we're looking for. You can see there's sauce on everything, but it's also not runny. It's still pretty thick. We have our filling. So now we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. And then I have my spoon that I'm gonna use. And so then what you wanna do is basically just start filling the peppers and make sure they get all down in there. Obviously everything inside is cooked. The cooking time for the rest of this is basically just to the consistency you want your pepper, right? Now I like to have mine uh, a little bit mounded, not like totally mounded, but definitely sticking over the top a little bit, just like that. Because remember, we're gonna put the, we're gonna top this with cheese in a bit as well. Our third and final pepper is now packed, and gosh darn it, I got three, and at the store I was like, maybe I should get four, and I was like, no, I don't think I have enough filling for four. I probably had the exact amount of filling for four. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just sit here and eat the rest of this with a spoon while these cook. So this is gonna go in there and join his friends or her friends, who am I to judge? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in. Also, pro tip, make sure your peppers are not too tall to not fit in your air fryer. That would be lame. Mine do fit perfectly, so in they go. And then as far as cooking time, um, because I've never done this before in the air fryer, I think I'm probably going to start at 375, um, and I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for eight minutes, and then I will check it after eight minutes. So we'll lower this down. There we go. And if you guys need me, I'm gonna be over here just eating the rest of the filling. Yes! Oh my gosh. You guys, this is so, so, so good. Honestly, you could just cover this with cheese and toss it in the broiler for a couple of minutes, melt the cheese, and eat it just like that. Uh, if you wanted to like cut up green peppers, like diced green peppers, and put them in there and like do it like that, you totally could, almost like a uh, stuffed pepper casserole. That'd be super, super simple. But um, I'm really excited to eat this. Oh, here comes Sherry. Sherry Beth, I heard you yelling something upstairs. What are you saying? I want some. You want some? It smells good, huh? Yeah. Come over here and have a bite. It is hot, so don't burn your little mouth. Moment of truth, here we go. What does Sherry Beth think of this? It's really good. Oh my gosh, like her face, uh, I wish I wish you guys could see it soon. Sherry's gonna be back in our vlogs soon. I'm speaking out of the universe. Uh, her face, like she tried it and just like lit up. It's so delicious. Air fryer just turned off and let's open it up and see how it's doing. Okay, the topping looks great. The peppers still, they're getting there, and I'm gonna rotate them a little bit, but I can tell they're not quite there. So if that was eight minutes in there, I'm gonna do, hmm, I might do four more minutes. Well, Sharon, and I officially polished off the, uh, <laughs> the rest of this. So while the air fryer is still going, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my cast iron pan. And I think that what I should do here is just uh, let it sit overnight with water in it and add some soap. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't ever do that. <laughs> Although I have heard, uh, and I need to know from one of you guys, let me know in the comments below. I've heard that the whole soap and cast iron pan thing is a myth anymore because the reason they used to say that was that soap contained lye and lye was what really damaged cast iron pans. I've heard that that's no longer the case. So they say that now you can use soap. I haven't done my research to know if that's true. So I still, don't use soap. I clean it with like a cast iron brush or like a really hard uh, sort of sponge. Or I do have like for pieces that are really baked on there, a piece of like chain mail that they sell to like clean cast iron with. So I'm still not sure about the soap thing. If one of you guys could do the research and let me know in the comments below. Now for that recipe, I only used about half of the bag of cauliflower rice um, and about, oh gosh, a quarter of the jar of marinara sauce. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually go to the store. <laughs> 
I'm sure he's cleaning the KitchenAid. I'm like, hit the button, turn it on. So I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is go to the store and buy some uh, like ground Italian sausage or some chorizo and basically like do this again, just to have leftovers in the fridge. This is so good, just to, like grab and eat. So, so delicious. So since we have cauliflower rice left over, since, since we have, since we have marinara sauce, we have cheese. I think I'm gonna make up another batch of the mixture tomorrow. Let's check on the peppers. Oh yeah, those are totally done. You can see like the outside of the pepper kind of has that charred look, which is exactly what you want. So now we're gonna add a little bit of cheese. However, here's the dilemma with the air fryer. If you guys remember from one of our vlogs last week, the air fryer, because it circulates air, right? If you put like shredded mozzarella cheese in there, it's just gonna blow it all off, right? It's so gonna like blow it all around. So we're actually gonna put these in the broiler for just like a minute, melt that cheese on top, and then these are gonna be ready to go. So I wanna show you guys something. Like when you squeeze this, do you guys see like some of the, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but along the edges, there's a little bit of fat, and oh my gosh, that's gonna be so, so good. So what I did is I pushed them all together to the center, and then I'm just going to add, I don't know, I just said van, you hear that? <laughs> and van, I got real southern, real quick. Brittany and Rance are rubbing off on me, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna top them with some cheese. Now you also could put like another scoop of the marinara on there, but I think these are already gonna be saucy enough. I like my peppers like I like my sherries. Saucy. Saucy. <laughs> so just, that was a cute giggle. Uh, so just a little bit something Kind of like that. I'm trying to pack as much cheese on there as possible because, like, why wouldn't you not? But I think that is gonna be perfect. Now we're just gonna take these, put them down here in our broiler. I hope that it fits. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> perfect, look at that. Close that up. And then that's just gonna take like maybe a minute. All right, now we're gonna check this. See how these look. Oh boy. <laughs> yes. That looks delicious. It looks so good, right? Mm -hmm. So then all we're gonna do is just like put one right in the middle. Of, oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. And again, if you wanted to, like add a dollop of pasta sauce or even like pour some around the edge so that as you cut off bites, there'd be more marinara, you totally could do that as well. Sherry just cut hers open and um, oh my goodness. Yum, yum, yum. That looks absolutely perfect. You can see like the onions in there. You can see everything. Oh, yes. So I'm cutting off my first bite. Now there's different ways to eat. I'm gonna, hold on, I gotta, we need to talk about this. There's different ways to eat stuffed pepper sherry. Mm -hmm. There are some people that would just like, almost like bread bowl it and just eat the contents and then the pepper. Mm -hmm. That's not me. Nope, I'm gonna cut all mine up and mix it up. That's the thing, is that like I want every bite to have onions and pepper and filling and the like just everything in there. So this is how I do my stuffed pepper bites with a little bit of everything. Let's see how it is. It is so good. Yeah. It's it's perfect. Like, it is absolutely perfect. The cauliflower rice in there, this tastes no different than we make it with rice. Yes. So stinking good. Dinner is finished. Sherry Beth, how was it? So good. Yeah? Um, yeah. Is this something you would do again? For sure, yes. Is we there... have done stuff pe stuffed peppers before mm -hmm. and always enjoyed it. So kind of tweaking it a little bit to make sure that it was fully keto was super easy and yeah. really yummy. Um, is there anything you would change about this one? I don't think so. <laughs> Me neither. I was trying to think about that because normally there's like one thing we'd change. This one there's we not. Add more or something or we'd not have this or whatever. It is. This was great. It was perfect. Yep. Just it is. Uh, and honestly really filling. So we each had one pepper and we're both full. So that third pepper is in the fridge. Uh, I thought this was great. Again, in the air fryer, we ended up doing it for about 12 minutes, I'd say. But keep in mind that that is all your preference on how you like your pepper, mm -hmm. right? If you want your pepper to be like crunchy, then it would be shorter. If you want it to be more mushy, it'd be longer. I think for us, it was great. Great, yeah. So friends, thanks for watching. Uh, I will put the ingredients in down below, but one thing to remember, like I said in this video with stuffed peppers, this really is about you and adding the ingredients and stuff that you want. Uh, for us, this was perfect. We loved it. Thanks for following along and uh, thanks for all your support on these keto cooking videos. Holy cow, the videos and the views on these keep going up and up and up. You guys are absolutely the best. We love you so very much. and We'll see you on the next Leg Life video.